Dan Andrews is back, good friend of the show. He's a clinic director at PIA Medical Group. Good to see you. Thank Happy you for being here as well. You too. You guys aren't, rest I mean, you've been on in, in the past. You talked about the technological advances and, and the different approach you have uh, versus other clinics that do similar things. But you're stepping up. You have a robot now? We do. What's that? <laughs> sounds futuristic. It, it is. sounds amazing. We're one of uh, 100 places in the world that have the what they call the artist robotic hair transplant. Okay. And it's a new way of harvesting the hair from the back. Okay. Uh, we're the only place in Indiana that has it. So. Typical transplants, when we harvest the hair from the back, we do it in a way that we harvest a little strip of skin right. and we put a stitch in there and it leaves a little fine linear line. Mm -hmm. What the robot does is it goes in and it plucks the follicles individually so we're not leaving that line. So it's it like uses... a hair harvester? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. I put in, sorry, I'm farm boy. Put right, in agricultural right, right. terms for me. Well, it's similar. So it's still physician guided. So sure. there's still a physician behind it. Um, and what we're doing is we're identifying the donor area. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the back of the donor area and we shaved it down short, the follicles exist in groupings of one, two, or three hairs in them. Okay. So this technique is actually called FUE, or follicular unit extraction, okay. which means we extract the follicles individually. Mm -hmm. And we've done this for some time, we've done it manually, yeah. but the accuracy of doing it manually, obviously with the human hand, no sure. matter how good the position, is not as good as the robotic side of it. Okay. So restoration robotics were the guys that developed this, um, and it's similar to the uh, the Da Vinci robot that they've used for medical procedures. Uh -huh. So what it does is it uses com um, algorithms to map the back of the scalp, wow. goes in, identifies the follicles and actually plucks them individually uh, one at a time. So for the patient, the recovery is faster, there's no linear line in the back. Say, that probably removes right. that. Is it, so I don't want to say they're taken randomly, but they're mm -hmm. taken in, not, not in that line. Correct. They're taken, okay. Correct. So, so part of the, the, the technology and also part of the advantage of taking away the human hand is not just the accuracy of the robot, because like, if I did it manually, as an example, we had a physician that did it manually, mm -hmm. and you went in and you went to pluck a follicle, let's say the patient moves and you miss that cue, you damage the hair seed or the bulb under the surface. Well, the robot can adjust 50 times a second, Whoa. so it allows for any of that movement. Okay. So it takes away the human error, and you know, if we're transplanting 1,500 follicles, mm -hmm. The first follicle is just as good as the 1500 one sure. because the robot doesn't make mistakes. Right. So it's incredible. Ro robot doesn't suffer from fatigue. Right, no robot fatigue. Does, yeah. you know, so so that, that element is taken out of it. it it's a harvesting technique, so mm -hmm. we're still placing the follicles ourselves. Okay. So it's working in conjunction with the physician. So we're not putting the patient in a room with a robot, shutting the door and saying, go for it. Sure. No, it's still, <laughs> yeah, it's still exactly. guided by the right, physician, right, sure, exactly. which is important. Appreciate that. Yeah, right. But I'm, you said, um, so I'm guessing the, the entire process is uh, A, more accurate, and B, quicker? Absolutely. Well, the precision um, mm -hmm. and the accuracy, it's micron accurate. So it's been, it's been proven a thousand times more accurate than the human hand. Okay. So it, it, what it does is it means the patient has faster recovery time. Mm -hmm. um, the impact in the donor area allows uh, different options from a, a hairstyle point of view. So if you've okay. got a young patient that likes to wear his hair very, very short in the sure. back, uh, we can basically make it invisible so far as where we took the hair from. Ah, okay. So you, you, you'd mentioned 1,500 earlier. Is there, is there a typical number that, that's done in the procedure? Well, or is there a range? Yeah, we can do up to about 2,000 grafts, we call them. So a graft okay. is a follicle once it's been extracted. So right. we can do up to 2,000 in a single procedure. Oh, okay. Um, so it's one of the services we've added to what we already do. It's not. It's not replacing what we already do, but sure. it's adding a, a, another service for the right profile patient, if you like. Okay. All right. Let's 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 be honest here. How many? What are we talking here? Two thousand? Or do I just need to make an appointment? Yeah, I think you got to make an appointment for that one, Tracy. But okay. we're probably we're probably talking fifteen hundred or so. Fifteen hundred or so. Yep. I think I see a good candidate there. Nope. <laughs> I'm compensating with <laughs> yeah, that. Right. I'm just doing that sort of thing. We'll make sure we put a link on IndyStyle.tv. Right. Good you. to see you as, as you always. Too? Appreciate you, you coming Thank back you. in 2015. Fifteen hundred. We can I, work I would have thought maybe 25. That's not bad. <laughs> Much more any style when we come back. I just do that and keep it growing.